morning everyone and welcome to another vlog here on my homemaking channel so today I just wanted to have a super cozy day I honestly had the worst night's sleep last night that I think possibly I've ever had in my life like normally I toss and turn but eventually get to sleep last night I just I don't know what was wrong my brain you know it's just like firing off thoughts and ideas and worries <laughs> So at about two o'clock, I just gave up and I thought I'll go and have some hot milk and see if that settles me. It didn't, so I just put on a Christmas film. I watched um, Last Christmas, the one with Amelia Clark in, and it was actually really good. There was a bit of a twist in it that I wasn't expecting, and it was a bit of moche, but <laughs> it was good. So today... I did say to myself if I want to spend the whole day in bed then I will but I'm starting to get a little bit more energy now so I've been watching like organisation videos and it's inspired me to sort of have a look at my own home organisation. I am quite good like I am an organised person as it is but I'm just inspired maybe to go a little bit more minimal. If you watch my channel you know I am a little bit eclectic and I like getting lots of things from charity shops and things like that but I just want to streamline everything and make it as organised as possible. Um, I just think it will help a little bit. I've been feeling quite burnt out recently and lower energy so I just feel like it might help with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around every room in my house. I'm not doing any cleaning today, no way Jose. <laughs> and I'm just going to make a list of things that could improve my organization and then I'm gonna get on Amazon or something like that and just buy a load of products that will help me organize my house so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm also gonna make a Christmas cake as well in a little bit but before I start with this vlog I went on a lovely walk with Paul recently he plays golf and I've started coming up with him on a Sunday afternoon and just walking around and watching him take his shots and the golf course is so peaceful so I got a couple of clips from our walk on Sunday which I wanted to insert just because I just wanted you to share in how amazing it was. On the grave Cracks of a thousand leaves Somewhere in between Our past and our future Rolling over All the dividing things Are you still listening? Want to be heard by you Slow fall into Where the cold and the heart meet And the powers that be So I hope you enjoyed that walk and now I'm going to go around my house and take my inventory so I hope you do enjoy getting organised and motivated with me. Okay so first I've just been around my bathroom and I've taken this 
list. So first of all, we have our hand towel. We always keep it on this radiator here, but it's just a little bit far away from the sink. So water goes everywhere every time we use it. So I think I'm just gonna get a little suction um, hand towel holder just to go next here. Then we need a toothbrush holder. This is just a glass because our other one broke. So I'd like to get like a suction toothbrush holder. I also want to get a suction soap holder and a suction like skincare holder so that this surface on the sink should be clear and then everything could just be like stuck to the wall above it. That is my hope for that area <laughs> and then the other thing i want to get in here is in the shower we have this glass sort of shelf holding our products but because it's a walk-in shower it actually blocks quite a lot of the area and over time it started just sort of slipping down so i think i'm going to take that off and instead i'm just going to get a little corner unit again i'm going to go for something that's a suction so i don't have to put any nails in or anything like that okay so that is everything i want to get for the bathroom so now i'm going to move on and have a little look around the kitchen okay so i've done my kitchen list but i did a huge clear out just then as well so i'll just show you a little bit of my cupboards i've just sorted them out so they're looking a lot more clear and organized now so i'm gonna try and keep everything in these baskets or the mason jars so all of these were this is coffee sugar what's in there little marshmallow so that's all my coffee stuff and the rest is like rice and pasta so stuff that was just in bags or like a really ugly looking <laughs> like packaging I've just put in there and then put that all together in that basket we have the leftover pasta that wouldn't fit in the containers and then we have our medicine and then I also have some protein powder of course tea bags and then some of the beer Paul like so that's that cupboard then this cupboard we didn't need much doing to it because we've found this storage solution and it just works big baskets for sweet snacks savory and then breakfast stuff and then I've just got some hot chocolate honey jam and butter there as well so it's something I really do need because no matter how much I try this Tupperware section just actually to be fair it doesn't look too bad but it does usually just get really messy so I'm gonna try and find some sort of solution for that then in this cupboard where well, we've got all the bowls and plates and things so I have this plate organization rack corner rack thing that i love and then i have this sort of unit that splits the um shelf into two and you can fit more on it so i just want to get a couple more of them to go underneath here and then i can fit my baking trays a little bit more organized in there the next thing i want to get please excuse the dirty dishes is i would like to get a soap dispenser for the fairy liquid so it just doesn't look quite so ugly and then i also have a scrub daddy as well that i keep putting in the sink and paul hates it he keeps telling me off <laughs> so i want to get like a little scrub daddy holder or something to go on the wall here or if i can't find something like that i'll just use a little plate um, what else have I got? I need to get a new bin. Let's go back to the list just to see what else. Oh yeah, I also want to get like, so those hooks that are over there holding my utensils, I want to get that exact same one for under here just to hold a couple of mugs just because I think it would look a little bit prettier because at the moment the main things on display are like wires and appliances. And then finally, I just want to get another curtain for here just because I don't really like the beigey colour. I want to go for something more white um, to go with the units and I just think it would be less obvious then. So I don't know if I'm going to get all this in one shot because it's going to end up being quite a lot. But that's what I want to get for now. And then I'm going to leave the living room and the bedrooms because to be fair, they are actually really organised. So I'm just going to have a look online for these things. Okay, so I'll just show you what I'm ordering. Honestly, I did not expect to spend this much today. Good job it's just been payday. But this is all coming to £175, just so you know. So I've got these two soap dispensers, that shower caddy the hooks for the kitchen i got these um i'm actually going to put them in my bedroom just around my mirror to store some of my makeup a little bit better um i've got this toothbrush holder suction thing the cupboard shelf what else have i got hand towels i've got 
Um, oh, that's for my skincare around the sink and this scrub daddy organiser. So all of that. But I feel like organisation is something definitely worth investing in. So if you would like to see like an organisation video when all that stuff arrives, please let me know in the comments and I will do it. Um, I'll probably tie it in with like a cleaning video as well, maybe do like an organise and clean with me. So now I'm starting to feel a little bit tired after that luckily, so I'm going to have a little nap um, and hopefully I'll wake up feeling a little bit more human. <laughs> I can't believe I've had two hours sleep. That is so not me. I'm the type of person that needs sleep a lot. So I'm going to try and rest a little bit now and then I'm going to come back to this vlog when I'm feeling a little bit better and then we can make the Christmas cake. Okay, so I couldn't get to sleep and it's now lunchtime. So I am extremely lucky because yesterday, I can't get it out. <laughs> yesterday we got pizza and I only ate half of mine so I have half of this veggie pizza left I'm so happy I don't know why I left the cutlery in there that's a bit embarrassing please don't judge me <laughs> but I'm gonna put that in the oven now and I'm gonna eat that oh I just feel like that's the best time in ever I really want something really unhealthy right now and this fits the bill <laughs> So it's now another day. I gave up on the vlog a couple of days ago, so I was filming. I actually had annual leave, so I was, I think it was the Friday or the Thursday, and I just got no, like, literally no sleep. I can't believe I even tried to vlog, so apologies if up to this point in the vlog I've just been a zombie with no energy. I don't know why I pushed myself to try and vlog that day, but as you can probably tell after I had that pizza, I just got back into bed and snoozed <laughs> for the rest of the day and watched TV. So let's try again. I'm going to make the Christmas cake today. So at the time I was really stressing the I'd already left it so late for my Christmas cake, so normally I like to make them the start of November, so I can fit loads of brandy into them <laughs> before Christmas time, but I feel like it's just one of those things, sometimes you've just got to not be such a perfectionist. <laughs> I say that because honestly I hold myself sometimes to a standard that is just like not productive it's just I don't know it's just it's one way ticket to burnout so I gave myself a break on that day because two hours sleep and then forcing yourself to be productive in the day is not a good combination but we're going to try again today so I am going to make a Christmas cake for you all today and hopefully be a nice cozy end to this vlog and a little bit of a different vibe compared to my sleepy zombie self in the earlier footage. Okay so this is the recipe book I use for my Christmas cake so they're all like really old um sort of little recipes but I just love it I find it so cute I love things like this like old-fashioned things so I'm gonna have a find of the Christmas cake see where it is and then what I'll do is I will put the camera over it so that you can screenshot it as well okay so this is the recipe that I like to use so if you want to follow along or make your own um, then just screenshot this the one thing I would say I do change in it is I definitely use the brandy <laughs> as you might have figured I like my Christmas cakes with a lot of alcohol in which is strange because normally I absolutely hate the taste of alcohol but for some reason I just love it in Christmas cake and I also put a lot more fruit in as well so I like mine to be very fruit heavy I love the glacé cherries so I'll put a lot more than the recipe says of that but I just go by how it looks I like the majority of the mixture to be with loads of fruit in so I'll add what they say and then I will um 
just add more so let's get going also i just need to show you as well so please excuse the mess on the surfaces i will clean this up but because i was having a bad day um when i last vlogged paul actually bought these gorgeous how lovely are those um roses for me to cheer me up so i thought i would share the joy with you as well just because oh I just honestly it really picked up my mood just because they're so bright as well so good old Paul hey <laughs> Okay, so I've got all my ingredients laid out and ready to go. I like doing this when I'm baking something that I'm not just something I do every week. I feel like when it's something that you do once a year, you can forget easily. So I like to set myself up as much as possible so I don't get too flustered. So I've got all my ingredients out here. I've got my recipe. I really would like to get a recipe stand that is on my wish list for life. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna get started on baking this cake. the night before Christmas I was closing down for business in my little prison shop when the bell on the door jingled once more and then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on, from this Christmas on. Christmas. 
so this is the Christmas cake now ready to go in the oven. So I ended up using a whole packet of mixed fruit. So I think one of these is one kilograms. I'm not sure actually. What does it say? There we go, yeah. So it's one kilograms and then I used 200 grams of cherries. So if you looked at the recipes, you'll see that that is a lot more fruit than you probably should put in, but I just love it really dense with fruit. So just put more or less in depending on what your taste is. And same for the brandy as well. If you don't like a lot of brandy, you don't have to put it in. Um, and if you like me and you love it, then go mad. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in the oven now at 150. It depends each year. I think this is quite a thick one so I think this will take probably about two and a half hours um, but I'll just keep an eye on it as well so I'm going to put that in the oven now take it out when it's ready and then throughout the next couple of weeks I will just be feeding it with brandy until about the week before Christmas and then I will ice and decorate it <laughs> go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love get yeah, all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe is baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya. I just wanna hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon. Let's till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Okay, so the cake is now out of the oven. It smells absolutely amazing in here. It's so Christmassy. So a little bit of a trick I like to do with my Christmas cakes is when they come out of the oven immediately, I like to stab loads of holes in them and then just pour a tiny bit of brandy in there. I feel like it's just my secret to keeping them really, really moist. So I'm gonna do that now. And then once it cools, I will wrap it in cling film just to keep all of the liquid in it and just make sure it is, I have to say that word again now, don't I? <laughs> Just to make sure it's really moist. I'm so sorry. I know loads of people hate that word. So I'm going to stab loads of holes in it now, which sounds very violent. <laughs> and then I'm going to pour some brandy over it. So I have this tiny little stabbing tool. So I'm just going to stab away. <laughs> okay. And now the next part, I'm just going to pour a tiny bit of brandy over. This could go horribly wrong. Let me half focus. Okay. And as you can hear as well, it sort of bubbles as it goes in. That's such a nice sound. So yeah, that's pretty much it done. So I just need to leave that to cool and then wrap it. And then that is my Christmas cake nearly done. Just need to put pretty much the rest of this bottle of brandy in. <laughs> and then I say so I will put on the screen now an example of my previous Christmas cakes just so you can see how they turn out. I like to use um, the icing that's not 
that's more messy, I've forgotten what it's called, it's not royal icing, it's the, or is it royal icing? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, I'll put it on screen what I do and then I put loads of lovely Christmas figurines and glitter and all sorts on it. Okay, so that is the Christmas cake now done. I'm feeling so relieved because I've been worried about that for a while. So I just want to quickly, before I end this vlog, I just want to show you some of the books I've been reading. I know some of you are into your books as well and have shared with me your favourite authors and things. So I picked two up from the library recently and I've read both of them in under two weeks, which is really good for me. So I'm really impressed and then I'll show you what I've just started reading. Okay, so these are the two books I picked up from the library. So this one was about a couple who meet when they are on like a writer's retreat and basically you're not allowed to tell each other anything about the real you you like you've got to use fake names and everything so they fall in love and then when they get back to home and their real lives it's just them like working it out and it's, it's actually quite funny I quite enjoyed that then this is the one I've just finished so this is about a family who have their own shop and the mum goes away on holiday for the first time in months after she has a bit of a health scare and then it's all the siblings sort of running it and there's also a love story as well in there so I highly recommend those two sort of just light-hearted chick flicks so this is the one I am now reading. You will have seen this if you watched my recent charity shop haul. So this is A Wedding in December. I've only just started it, so I've read chapter one. But I get the impression it's going to be like a very chaotic <laughs> family all coming together for a wedding. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of drama. And that is what I've been reading at the moment. And then this is my little setup. This did look better once they were like that. So this is my new setup with my new bookends. And then I'm I'm going to keep any books that I still have to read so these are my on this sorry what was that sentence sometimes when I'm recording I just forget how to speak um so these four books are on my to read list so that's how I'm going to work it this little section in my room is going to be my to read list then I'm going to keep the one I'm currently reading next to my bed and then these are library so they have to go back and then anything that I read that I've bought myself I'll then give up to my friends so just for any of you that were interested in books I'm sorry if that was boring for those of you who aren't. So I'm going to end this vlog now. I really hope you have enjoyed it despite the absolute state of me in the first half. I was a complete zombie. I was so tired but I hope you appreciate the fact that I really wanted to film because when I have my days off it's my only real time to film the evenings and my days off so I try and make the most of them which obviously does not work out well when you're not feeling well. So I hope you did enjoy it anyway. If you do enjoy my cosy slow living vlogs then please give this a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and I will see you next time.